So you're wondering what it's like to be in Florida in December, right? Because if you're in any other part of the country, aside from maybe Southern California or Arizona, it's probably getting cold and you're considering, what do I got to do to get somewhere a little bit warmer, right? Well, in this video, we're going to talk about what things are like here in the entire state of Florida. I'll put a little emphasis in Northwest Florida because that's where we're at, but give you the info that you need to know to stay warm. <laughs> so stick around. What's up everybody? This is Tim Whittemore with the Whittemore Group right here in beautiful Destin, Fort Walton Beach area. That's right, right here on the Emerald Coast in Northwest Florida. If this is your first time to our channel, we do tons and tons of videos about everything you need to know about our area. Now as a military veteran of 14 years and now a military spouse, I've moved so many places. So many places. And every time I moved somewhere, there was always such a lack of information of where to move to and what to anticipate. That's why we created this channel for you. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button, click that little bell, so you'll be notified every single time we got a new video coming out. Now, honestly, we get tons of phone calls, texts, emails from people that want to move here, got some questions, need some help. They want to know what it's like to eat, sleep, work, play, whatever in this area, and we absolutely love it. So if you are moving here, even not in our area, we can still help you out. Give us a call, text, email. We love hearing from you, okay? And we'll have your back when moving out to our area. All right, so let's get this going. What is Florida like in December, right? When we think about our vacations, our winter vacations, where people are going to look, right? Where are they looking? Most of the time, it's right here in Florida, right? It's one of the most southern places in the United States, and it's get a little bit further south. You know, as long as you don't cross the equator, it's going to get warm, right? So... Again, people are going to move here. Why? Or want to come here? Why? It's because it's the weather. For the most part, in anywhere in Florida, it's, it's going to be pretty warm in comparison to probably where you came from. Uh, there are some exceptions to that, but we'll get into that a little bit further. Uh, you're going to get uh, more time off in the holidays. That's another reason people want to come down to Florida in December, right? It's because you don't have to take time off. It's probably already being given to you thanks to the good old holidays, right? And of course, there's tons of things to do, tons of things to do in Florida in December. And of course, I think every video I do in this channel, I always got to mention the beaches, right? <laughs> you're always with, within striking distance of a beach somewhere if you're going to be in Florida, at least a drive away to just enjoy the wonderful beaches where you're at. So how is Florida in December? Let's kind of narrow this stuff down, right? First of all is the weather. Weather this time of year, from December 1st all the way until the 30th, December's, uh, the weather's going to be around 64 to 76 degrees. It's going to be relatively dry. Uh, the winds pick up a bit for whatever reason. But again, this is going to be dependent. Because Florida has a weird way of just changing at any point, especially here in northwest Florida. Northwest Florida, it could be 42 degrees today, and tomorrow it could be 81 it's all over the place in December. Uh, uh, we, as a real estate team, we threw a client uh, event for everybody to come over and figure it was going to be in December. We planned it months in advance. And uh, it was at one of our residences, and it was going to be a pajama party, right? So you think warm pajamas, whatever, right? It had a fire going, fire pit. And so we were anticipating 50 degrees, 55 degrees outside, and we, we planned accordingly. The day came, the day prior, was about 50, 55. That day, 75. So we were all sweating, and it just had like the, the uh, onesie. It was like I had a onesie on and just tied it off there at, at, the, at the middle just to say cool because the weather just went woo, all over the place. So December, who knows? <laughs> but generally, it's better, okay? Um, let's talk about, we talked about the beaches. Let's talk about the water temperature. Now, on average, the temperature of the water is actually going to be 82 degrees. 
Now, this is still going to be dependent upon where you're at. So if you're going into the Atlantic Ocean, do you think it's going to be 82 degrees? Probably not. It's probably going to be significantly colder, probably in the 70s. All right. Um, if you're up here on the in northwest Florida, it will still probably be in the high 70s, typically. Now, I'm my triathlete. This is the time of the year when I start to go training. And part of this training is open water swimming. And I've definitely jumped in this water with a wetsuit and done some open water swimming. And even at 70 something degrees for that water, it still can be a bit chilly. So just keep that in mind if you're coming down and deciding to take a dip. Um, and of course, the weather here can be erratic, as, as I just mentioned. So it could be nice and you'd be stepping out and it'd be nice and sunny and it'll feel real good. Or you're just going to freeze your tail off when you get out of the water. So just be prepared for that. <laughs> All right, next thing we'll talk about are the crowds. Now, this is going to vary depending upon where you go, all right? Uh, however, it's going to be a bit busier. Why? Because of the things we mentioned before. More people have time off and they want to come down to Florida to enjoy the holidays. You're going to be in Orlando. You're going to be down in Miami. Usually the big, po bigger population center is going to be a little bit more busy. I can tell you here in the Destin Fort Walton Beach area in the... Uh, winter time or rather December that's what we're talking about uh, we don't necessarily see much of a bigger change in the crowds we're just not that big of a city apparently uh, because the things that attract people down here are going to be the beaches going to be the warm weather it's going to be boating a lot of the things that people aren't doing necessarily in December and because of that uh, we don't see a huge influx of people you can still get around on the streets which is kind of nice all right, uh, next will be travel cost. What's that like here in December getting into Florida? Well, just like traveling during the holidays, I don't think you're going to catch much of a break. It's going to be a bit higher when traveling to this area as well. Anywhere in Florida, the traveling fees are still going to be a little bit higher than what you're going to get in the summer. There's also another reason for that too, because I'm thinking air travel, you know, as, as people come down. And mainly because they're not having as many flights to that specific area as well. Uh, especially up here in Northwest Florida, we don't see as many flights or as many carriers coming in uh, during December. Uh, however, that subject to change at any time. However, anticipate higher costs for travel. All right, so what are there things to do all throughout the state? Well, you know, I could sit here and talk for an hour, but I'm not going to do too much of that um, to tell you exactly where to go. But I'll give you a good idea of where people want to go in December here in the state of Florida. First and foremost is the beaches in Miami. Miami Beach. Woo! All right. That's always going to be warmer weather. It's always going to be great beaches, stuff to do. In Miami, there's always stuff going on, which is actually really nice to go check out. So, beaches not just in Miami, but that's that's obviously where, where a bulk of people want to go here in December. Uh, theme parks. Yeah, theme parks year-round, right? People love going to theme parks in December. Why? Because it's not devastatingly hot. Oh my God. All right, go there in the summer. You're just going to melt, right? But if you want to go in, you got some time off, go into these, these uh, different places. And most of them are themed for Christmas too. So like Walt Disney World, Universal Studios, SeaWorld, just to name a few, Busch Gardens. I can keep going. <laughs> yeah, you can definitely go in there. There's always some sort of holiday thing going on. Usually a lot of different things. And the good news is it may not be as crowded as if you were coming in the summer. And it's not devastatingly hot. Yeah. <laughs> All right, next is golf. You're in Florida. It's golf year round. Yeah. It's going to be a little bit cooler so you can enjoy yourself. As uh, if you're like a golfer like me, that just spends time in the woods, just chipping out and hitting branches. <laughs> Should bring a tent for how much time I spend in the woods when I'm on the golf course. But if you're much better than me, which won't take much, uh, you can enjoy golf year round no matter where you are in Florida. There's always going to be a golf course, more than likely. All right. And of course, events. I'll fill the last bit of this video with some events. Where do people want to go? So uh, just some things to go check out. You can check out Santa's Enchanted Forest. So Google that one up, Enchanted uh, Santa's Enchan Enchanted Forest. If you're going to end up up here in Northwest Florida, there's definitely a, something you want to check out. The Pensacola Winterfest is another event that is super cool for you to go check out for you and the family. Look out for ice! Yeah, I said I like that because there's an exclamation point right at the end. That's right. <laughs> ice at the Gaylord Resort. Key West Holiday Fest is another one if you're on the southern, southern tip of Florida. Uh, you can go down to Key West Holiday Fest. And something really cool, if you've never been to St. Augustine, 
St. Augustine's is the oldest settlement here in the United States. I think it's in North America altogether, but don't quote me on that. You'll probably put something in comments and tell me I'm wrong, which is totally fine. Uh, anyway, uh, St. Augustine's really cool if you've never been there. Uh, it is an older city. It's got uh, some of those cobblestone streets throughout there. It's just very, very unique experience. They've got a lot of great restaurants. They've got a lot of great uh, bars, a ton of history throughout this area, great food. Anyway, this, this, uh, this place is always hopping, right? But the one thing that's really cool in December is they got the Knights of Lights. That's right, Christmas lights all throughout the city. So you want to go out and check that out if you're going to be in the area sometime in December. But make sure to go ahead and uh, Google <laughs> or whatever, Bing, search where this uh, event's going to be happening. All right, well, there's a quick overview of how Florida is in December. Well, it's nice. And I would say that it's nice always here in Florida. You should totally move here. <laughs> uh, but if you have any questions about anything I mentioned here, please go ahead and leave it in the comments below. Please keep it positive, but go ahead and leave it in the comments below. Uh, and of course, if you are moving here, got some questions, need some help, Contact myself or my team here. We got you covered. Give us a call, text, email, anything here on the screen. Please don't feel shy. Reach out to us. We'd love to help. And uh, of course, I'm Tim Whittemore with the Whittemore Group here with LPT Realty. And we'll see you in our next video. Take care.